Well, alrighty then. Here's the beginnings of a Prius wheel cover. It doesn't look like much, but uh, this is the best CAD program there is out there. Cardboard aided drafting, highly recommend. And uh, dog food box, also a good way to go. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna be using this to make a template. I'm gonna be using that to cut the steel. There's a lot better things to cut it with, but this is what I have, and it'll work. Perfect. Gonna throw some of this junk on there. Got this from a buddy. He thought it was like an actual side skirt stuff, and then this showed up, and he was pretty cheesy, so he just gave it to me. And I've had it for a few years. I knew someday I would want to put it on something like a Prius. So, perfect. Um, I was going somewhere else with this, and I don't remember where that was. So, let's cut to something better. So, apparently in my first measurements, I didn't compensate enough for the fact that this has to be curved. And my length was a little too short, and the pieces of steel that I got were the exact length that I measured. Which was convenient until I realized that it actually wasn't long enough, so I had to go back and get 24 by 36, which is going to be perfect. Um, yeah, what are these? I think they're like 19 and a half by 36 right now. Something like that. This one actually fits really good. Um, there's going to be, it's going to be annoying to get all the curves and stuff right with a flat piece of steel. Thankfully, it's sheet metal, so it's not going to be absolutely horrible to work with, but it's thicker than the last sheet metal was by two gauges. So, I mean, it'll be nice because it'll be stronger and stiffer and stuff, but it's not going to be nice because it's going to be stiffer and stuff. But it'll do. Alrighty, here goes nothing. Soapstone. Highly, highly underrated. Priceless for metal, especially if it's oily and gross. I think this one was my grandpa's. Actually, alrighty, all right. Wear gloves around sheet metal. Probably better ones than this would actually be good. But they were the closest thing in my bag. I took this, which is like 80 grit sandpaper, and did the whole edge. So hopefully it doesn't send me to the hospital, so I have to get stitches again. That. Um, yeah. Don't cut yourself on the sheet metal. It sucks. And then dealing with L and I is much, much worse than any other part of it. So don't do it. Sand it, wear gloves, all that good stuff. I gave this thing a pretty basic bend. I did the main bend here, and then I kind of did that along these areas. Kind of make it conform a little bit better to the edge of the car right there. The sheet metal so it'll stretch a little bit. Which is a good thing for what we're doing. Then I got a little tab down here for the back side. I think I'm gonna, not 100% sure, but I might get, take a little screw, screw it through there into that plastic trim on the bottom. Maybe even a nut and a bolt, who knows. Um, top will be pretty much flat. And this side, this is the front side, it wraps around pretty steep to. A little under edge of the car there so uh yeah i got the basic shape we'll go out and see what else we got to do to it i wasn't 100 percent sold on doing this because i had a feeling it would kind of look like this but again it's not for aesthetics it's for aerodynamics this will actually probably help a little bit in the aero department too so this is rounded it actually feels way more smooth than it looks um but these are these are the biggest pliers I have that I could find. Uh, the angle on them was nice though. Just did a bunch of little bends, made this little thing. But the main purpose for this is so it doesn't flop around nearly as much. Like that's not terrible. It's a lot more stiff than it was. So I didn't want this part flopping around and slicing my tire open. Yes, I know it curves in a little bit, but it's like maybe three sixteenths of an inch that it actually moves in and it'll it stiffen that up significantly so last thing I want to do is pop my tire because of these stupid things alrighty if you do this the same way as me 
use the coarse thread one in there use the machine thread one in there because that's metal i'm going to use loctite on that one too actually i'll probably use loctite on both of them it actually fits flipping great a little bit of that tape and it's going to be perfect and then after that double-sided tape i'm going to use electrical tape and do that edge just for uh, extra aerodynamics but uh it's actually going to look pretty snazzy once it's painted black all right on this side put a little bit of extra tension on this. I drilled the hole for this and got a mark on the car. And then I drilled a little bit this side of that mark. After it, I had already put some tension on it just by holding it. And that keeps a decent amount of tension in here so I've got more room in here. Well, it's all said and done. Which is what I wanted. There's already a bunch of dirt in it, but uh, I mean, it's pretty glassy. It's not perfect, but it's not terrible. This one, I've got the dust coat on. Always, always do a dust coat, or else your stuff's not gonna paint as well or stick as well. It actually turned out pretty good. It's actually really flat. That one's got a few dings in it from the sheet metal of days, but whatever. And some dirt. Like right there. Right there. But it's fine. The Prius looks much worse than this, so it'll be good. It's not terrible, right? You can see uh, where I pushed on it really hard. Apparently the paint still hasn't cured quite yet. I let it sit overnight, but uh, I put it on a little thick actually mates really well right there the seam's really good right there i should have moved the tape in a little bit but it's all right right here there's a dent so i'll do what i can but there's not a lot i can do it's pretty good honestly This is the good side, and it looks pretty great, honestly. I didn't mar it up nearly as bad messing with it because I knew it would happen. Um, I put this junk on here just kind of because, why not? Keep a little bit more air from getting under the car. It'll help the diffuser work a teeny tiny bit better. So, looks pretty all right. Pretty satisfied from this distance, honestly. It looks great from 10 feet away. I wasn't gonna do the electrical tape, but I did, just because of the little gap that was there. And it actually looks okay. Doesn't look bad. There it is. Good to go. I also, uh, before I put those on, I put a bunch more air in the tires. Um, they were at like 30 PSI, which was actually probably not a bad idea for winter, but. Right, so, as soon as it loads, lately, I've been just driving this thing mostly around town. Wow, that's dusty. And the mileage is pretty bad. But my tires have been at about 30 PSI. I put air in them before I put those covers on because I knew it would be a pain afterwards. Um, that was pretty good for winter, but for the summer, I bumped them up to 45. And I'll tell you what, I can tell a difference just in the ride. It's way stiffer and it coasts a lot better. So that alone is going to offset the mileage so much that I'm not even going to notice or be able to measure what... Uh, the little wheel covers did so uh, yeah but like I said they're mostly um, to help out the diffuser and hopefully that'll make a difference do a little bit of something something we'll find out well I've arrived in Tacoma 
seemingly everything is in one piece. I'll do a walk around the car and I'll show you after I get back to Bremerton, but it's pretty good. Um, before doing a trip between cities in this car, I'd usually average like 46. I could get 50 something if I was really driving smart and there was no traffic or hills or anything and it was a good route, but uh, there's a lot of hills. I was doing about 67 the whole way. This includes city driving on both ends and I was driving like I normally do, which is not for fuel efficiency. I survived. All right, so 48.8 MPG. It feels like you're coming downhill this way, which is not true because they're both pretty close to sea level. Um, yeah, got a little better mileage this way, 65 miles total, so used, what, slightly over a gallon? A gallon and a fifth-ish. Those are still attached, so that's good. Hang on. That one's still attached. Even the electrical tape's still attached. Freaking sweet. All right. Take it. What a good little Prius. The reason I went to Tacoma was to get the family a bunch of Easter stuff and my girlfriend. And nobody knows. My family actually doesn't even know I'm coming down. Um, I'm just going to tell, like, my mom in case anything happens. But I'm not even 100% sure I'm going to make it, but uh, I'm going to give it a go. So, uh, yeah, happy spring holiday. Check this out. It's actually working. And see how the stripes are all angled down a little bit? That's exactly what I was going for. I want the air to kind of wrap around the bottom there, kind of accelerated, then the air in the middle to shoot up, and it should make a uh, horizontal vortex which theoretically is going to make my gas mileage better. You can see right there, there's a little bit of aerodynamic drag. All the splashes are catching on that part that's sticking out right there, but overall, looks like it's doing its job. Oh yeah, this was after 800 miles, and most of which was eh, closer over 70 miles an hour through torrential downpour. Uh, I'm amazed that the electrical tape is even still on there, let alone barely coming up at all. Pretty stoked. Looks pretty good on this side too. Kind of the same thing going on. There's less gunk over there. I don't know why. I don't know. Reasons. Check out those lines I wasn't expecting. Check out how the air swoops down from right there, across the car. And this is a few days after I've been back in Bremerton. Um, they held up great for the trip. I'm extremely pleased with these things. And super, super surprised about that tape. Hang on. Yeah. Um, 9 out of 10 would recommend. Maybe 10 out of 10. Eh, let's do 9 out of 10. Nothing's 10 out of 10 unless it's perfect. And I kind of slapped them together, so they're not perfect. Um, yeah. Subscribe, please. I desperately need subscribers. Um, I think you have to have 1,000 now to even start thinking about making money. And I have 30, so a little ways off. There's better things coming too, I swear. I got a lot of stuff planned. Hit the subscribe button wherever it is. Oh yeah. All right. Whenever you're ready. Huh? Whenever you're ready. Oh. Perfect. Nice and stable and smooth. Let's do it. Oh, maybe not. We got it. Ha oh. ha!